Hi everybody, it's Trisha with Chocolate Musings. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Today I'll be setting up my June bullet journal. I used my favorite tools for creating circles to make a faint circle outline to follow on the welcome page. Lately, I've been working on painting leaves with watercolor brush strokes. So this month's theme, at least part of it anyway, was inspired by my watercolor practice. I think creating a wreath is a great way to practice making leaves. I added a few variations of green for the leaves and layered them. Then I added some orange blooms with some blue circles and threw in a few yellow dots. Then to finish it off, I lettered the word June in the center for sure it looks like I need a new brush pen. This one is running out of ink. Now that I have the welcome page set up in my bullet journal, let's work on some of the interior pages. I think I'll continue practicing on leaves for some of the pages. For the calendar page, I added some leaves around the outside of the calendar grid, then painted very thin lines with watercolor to mark the calendar grid. Then I add some fun, loose flowers tucked into the leaves in yellow and orange and finish off the calendar by numbering the dates. I think this palette is very summery, very bright, and I really like it. Next, on to the habit tracker page and the monthly to-do list. For the habits, I split the boxes into 15 across, just for a little bit of a different look this month. I'll use one of my horizontal number line stickers. I hate writing numbers over and over again, so I created these stickers so I don't have to do that. I will link those products down below. Using the Tombow Fudonosuke marker, I'll draw the boxes and then letter the word habits across the top. Then I will add some leaves around the boxes. I don't know about you, but I have trouble keeping a straight line, even with the dot grid. I applied a full sticker page facing the habit page. It has a grid pattern drawn out. 
I'll use this for a loose to-do list where I need something to be done more than once a month, but not necessarily every day, such as water plants or post on social media, or if I have a couple of specific days that I need to get something done, I will mark it on that day and that way I know when to schedule it or know when I did it. Did I fill out my gratitude log? I have to say, I like the leaves on the pages. I wish I would have done more leaves on the next weekly pages, but that's neither here nor there. It's already done. Since June is overall not a busy month, I opted for two weeks to a page and painted a simple nine square grid for each week. I didn't allot for enough space for the weeklies. Whoops. So I will also show you how to add a page to your planner using washi tape. But first I will finish off the last couple of pages, which includes the brain dump page and a full spread for the journal page. And hopefully I can include some good memories of going to the beach this year. Once I discovered I was short a page, I found some old pages I'd removed from a previous journal where I hadn't quite finished the book, but it was time to transition to a new book. I used those blank pages for incidents just like this. After placing the page, I added washi tape to the crease of the pages on both sides smooth down the tape and clip the ends flush with the page. Perfect. As long as I'm a little gentle with this sheet, it will stay put. Now for the flip through. I hope you've enjoyed this planner setup video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button, and I hope you have a fantastic month. Bye everybody.